Hello, hello, hello. I'm back with more uh, Master of Magic. And well, while I thought about just exploring over here until I find him, he is stronger than me. Because, well, he's got two heroes and uh, he's got more uh, magic and all sorts of stuff. Well, because playing on Impossible, of course. So I guess I'll uh, reorganize my troops over here. And these will be done in, well, less than nine turns because I'm gonna buy them. And then I will use uh, heroism on my uh, archer so that he gets plus uh, one attack again and an extra plus hit. So uh, in five turns that is uh, completed. <coughs> so then, yeah, let's see if uh, where he will come from because he will attack me. And he probably will have better units than me. Um, it's 104. And that will be all my money. And then I won't be able to buy the next guy. But it does mean we can already start casting heroism. Because we will buy it before uh, the heroism is done. And 90, I guess one more turn. Yes, this will be okay. Because I don't know if we can get to that again. But yeah. Oh, wait. We've got one extra unit here. Let's see if we can also use him. And I, of course, should have done that already from the start. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, well. I guess that will work out anyway. Hopefully, at least. <laughs> and the heroism spell. My longbow men are now 2 for 2. And with heroism. They are 3, 5, 4. And have an extra health and uh, extra magic resistance. And I've got plus 3 to hit instead of plus 1. So, that is pretty nice. And, well, let's see if we can buy the other one. No, we can't. Yeah, because my income, of course, goes down uh, once uh, because of, uh, well, increased army. And those longbowmen cost two gold per turn. So, with my five gold per turn income, it's just quite a lot. Ah, oh, I really would have wanted to buy them there. Come on. No, too late. I'm gonna buy him anyway. Go away. No. <laughs> Decided not to go away. Yeah. I guess I want to take Arrow's bears because even though he is a caster, I don't think arrows actually do all that da much damage on him. And those war bears are pretty dangerous on their own. Anyway. Oh, and he tried to dispel my heroism. That's nasty. Yeah, let them come to me, of course. So I could kill this guy, but it's more important to have just one of them because these can take care of the war bears if they're not all that uh, powerful. <laughs> And yes, I guess we'll just attack. And he'll shoot them. And he'll... Um, can't actually move away. So I'll shoot this guy. And now... Well, he can still shoot, so we'll wait a bit. And he can still shoot, so he'll take care of the long moment. Oh, did he already shoot? Oh, he did already shoot. Oops. No, he didn't. Why couldn't I select him? Oh well. Uh, wait, wait, shoot. 
Yeah, we won! From 4 units, so we might have gotten 8 experience. Fifteen... No, it, oh well, that one wasn't ready yet. Forty-eight, oh, oh no, you get it at sixty, so twelve more experience before they level up. And at least he's a veteran, that's nice. Even though he didn't get plus hit yet. And he needs ten more. But, yeah, they are now pretty uh, damaged. Well, my archers aren't. I guess it will be fine. And so we've got two longbowmen, that will be enough for a little bit. And well, we're gonna go straight for uh, Alchemist Guild, because that's pretty much the point in time where everything will go our way. But yeah, now we have to uh, survive this. <laughs> Completely different setup. Okay, can we start with uh, our longbowmen? Yes. And yeah, what would we want to shoot? Does he have anything? Not really. Oh, that doesn't do all that much damage, so yeah. Shooting them is probably not the best idea. Oh, but it was my normal bowman, my normal one, and this is the better one. But I guess I want to shoot the bears. Here as well. And we'll just wait him out. And these longbow men lost one guy. But we can only cast heal once. So I don't think we want to yeah, use that already. And let's see if the, my other guys can take care of these war bears. Yeah, not really. So now this guy needs to go. Ah, and one shot from him. That's very nice. And these are uh, trolls, which of course then regenerate during combat. But he doesn't seem to use any more magic, so... Well, I guess I could use a heal on my swordsman or something. I guess we'll wait for that. Because range damage is, of course, as usual, the most powerful part of the game. Especially if you get some uh, higher leveled uh, units. But this one now doesn't have any uh, spells left. And the good thing about these archers is they can, get shoot, they can shoot 8 times per combat. And lots of other uh, ranged attackers can only shoot 6 times, or, well, with these magical ones, can only shoot 4 times. And the Guardian Spirit needs to go. And we can move away once. Because he only has one movement speed. And now he goes into the middle of nowhere, so... Yeah, we'll wait him out and shoot him. And we won again! Yeah. And we gained fame. And we probably have some more levels. Yeah, these have become elite, which is good. 5 3 and plus 2 to hit. Which actually makes the spearmen. Uh, almost better because the the swordsmen have got five attack but they've only got six units so that's 30 and that's more but these are eight times three is 24 so it's not that big of a difference as, as it would seem but these guys do have more health and well yeah that's just good so if you have got fully decked uh, spearmen they actually are more powerful usually than uh, the swordsmen because they survive much longer. Now I've got the food shortage because we grew. But yeah, we completely uh, obliterated his armies, and that is a good sign. These guys will go very slowly, but now we want to go and explore the map and, well, kill everything pretty much. 
And we're a bit under power to actually start killing the entire map already. But we got uh, pretty good rolls with uh, attacks against that uh, Shra guy. So we're feeling confident. And this is just some roaming guy, but that also means that there is some city around here somewhere. Yeah, over in this direction, which could actually be the city from uh, the guy we want to kill. Because if he is gone, then we can just relax and expand and, well, do everything uh, that we want to do. But while he is roaming around, he can just pretty much summon an entire new army and come and attack me again. Because those war bears are not something that you uh, build, but you summon. And yeah, this is not really powerful, but maybe it's powerful enough. <laughs> I'm not really sure. We could go and try and uh, harvest some, uh, so, well, caves and stuff before we actually attack him. But maybe it's not uh, our actual enemy and it's just another barbarian camp, because, well, those should be around here somewhere as well. So yeah, library... Sage's Guild... Yeah, this also has, of course, has the added benefit of uh, giving more research uh, points. Which then means that you can lower your research points. So you get more skill points. And you keep your mana at a decent rate. Because if you attack a lot and you want to heal a lot or something, because that happens sometimes. Well, then mana goes very fast. Somewhere around here. Okay, so these are... So it should be here somewhere, I think. Yeah, and this is uh, the difficulty part with uh, getting uh, low-level cities not of your own race. They tend to uh, have more revolt risk and thus, first of all, don't build anything or grow. And Well, if you place one unit there, then it will cost you food. Because it will still use food even though it's not producing food. So it's very important to get uh, two units in all those cities. Uh, might even want to go for shrines because they will get unrest anyway and shrines maybe have shamans or something. <laughs> yeah, none of these is really good because summon hero is, well, a lesser hero and a lesser hero is just not very good actually. But it can lead to Summon Champion, and Summon Champion is pretty good. Hey, why isn't that guy here? I guess he is around there. And it is a Barbarian camp. Okay. Those shouldn't be all that difficult. Two Spearmen. No, we can uh, take those easily. And we get some extra money, that would be good. I don't think the range from your capital is actually important, it's just uh, the race you are. And they're dark elves, so they don't like the high elves very much. Um, well, we could cast the heal. It's uh, two times range, so that means it will cost 30 mana. And I think that's quite a lot, because we're gonna kill him anyway, and then he will just heal up over time fairly fast. Definitely if we just stay one turn in this uh, new town. Yeah, so this has 14 gold income. Well, now, because it produced trade goods, but... Still... It has uh, two gems and a gold, and we can see here there is a city above. So that might very well be the actual enemy. And what kind of barbarians are these? 
one halberdier. Yeah, that's not uh, very nice. I guess I can take him with my elite uh, spearman. But if he would go to this city, then yeah, he will just uh, obliterate him. <coughs> As with this one and with this one, because he has nothing yet. So there might be a town over there as well, because these can't swim. And there might be a cool city over there, yeah. So... I'll just continue my Sage's Guild, Alchemist Guild, etc. And now I've got 19 gold income per turn. And I guess this is, this is not too bad yet, but well, if you don't do anything about it, then they will come back with... Uh, well, first two, and then four, and then an entire group of eight, and did they get annoying. Even though uh, at that point I hope that uh, everything will be uh, fine, and I'll have my alchemist guild and uh, very good archers. But uh, for now, we'll uh, do another cut and break. So, save again. Save again. And I'll see you later.